Hello, welcome to Big Wheel Fist. This is the intermediate tape, intermediate form for Seven Star Mantis Kung Fu. In this form, uh, Big Wheel Fist, we stress the importance of circular motion and developing stance work. This is a intermediate form taught in the Seven Star Praying Mantis system. This form involves a lot of strong circular motion movements and really works on the stances, uh, primarily the horse and the forward stance. Big wheel fist. We're going to begin with some basic warm-up uh, stretches and exercises. First one is wrist shaking, and this one includes, involves just loosening up the wrist to prepare ourselves for different wrist techniques, wrist locking, uh, grabbing, and punching. In this posture, we're going to keep the wrist, arms, shoulders relaxed, and just focus on uh, the task at hand, uh, and getting the mind prepared, and just shaking the wrist back and forth. Next, next stretching exercise is the arm shaking, and this is to help increase circulation and, and chi blood flow to the arms and fingertips, and just gently, nice and relaxed, shake the arms up and down, up and down. The arms are moving in a forward and backward continuous motion, nice and relaxed. Then you move continuously into a, a shoulder rotation, moving the arms backwards. This is to loosen the shoulders in preparation for punching, blocking, and striking. Alternating direction, moving the arms forward. Arms are crossing, moving the shoulders nice and relaxed. Waist stretching to the left, waist stretching to the right. The waist uh, movements are a very important part of martial arts. We want to stretch this out so as to involve uh, improved flexibility in our movements, so not to injure our back. Next way stretch is more of a on a horizontal plane, moving to the left and using the elbows as a guide, and then stretching to the right using the elbows as a guide. If you notice on Sifu Lee Cam Wing's uh, uniform, there is a uh, patch there is the Ching Wu patch. As you know, the Ching Wu Athletic Association in Hong Kong is uh, one of the major centers of uh, martial arts promotion, uh, martial arts uh, 
centers and training facilities in Hong Kong and uh, as, as a, spread, a source of spreading the martial arts throughout the world. Uh, Sifu Lee Kam Wing serves as uh, the Vice President of the Qingwu Athletic Association in Hong Kong. Next exercise here is the hip stretch. We want to rotate the hips in an inward then outward fashion, alternating between the left and right leg. Again, keeping hips nice and relaxed. Next stretch is the ankle stretch and placing the toe on the ground, uh, rotating clockwise. Then changing to the left foot, rotating clockwise. You want to move in this nice circular fashion so as to loosen up the ankle and also the knee joints. In this stretch, we want to place the hands on the knees, gently rotating to the right and then to the left, clockwise and then counterclockwise. This is a side stretch, stretching to the right so as to stretch out the groin muscles. You should feel a nice gentle pull in the groin area. Alternate to the left. Also stretching out your quadricep muscles, your thigh muscles. Gently pulling on the ankles and pulling back so that you feel that stretch in the anterior part of your thigh. As in any martial arts style, the uh, different stances form the foundation of the style. What Master Lee is demonstrating here is the Ma Bo, also known as the horse dance. The left sided and right sided. <coughs> However, the uh, motion here is a symmetrical uh, motion in terms of balance is evenly distributed 50% uh, to the left and also 50% to the right. The next dance is Dan San Bo, the left side. 70% of the weight is distributed to the front leg, whereas 30% is distributed to the rear leg. And you see 30, uh, the, the rear leg is not totally straight, probably about 10 degrees in flexion. Okay. This is also known as the hill climbing stance, also known as Dan San Bo. The next stance is seven star stance, Chat Sing Bo. The weight is distributed 80 to 90% in the rear leg, 10% in the front leg. Notice that the, front, the point of contact to the ground is the left heel. Again, this is the seven star stance, Chut Sing Bo. The next stance we'll demonstrate is Tan Ta Bo, also known as collapsing stance. Here, the right leg is extended. Uh, the rear leg carries, again, 80% 80, 80 of the weight. The right uh, leg carries about 20% of the weight. And alternatively, on the other side, uh, the Tan Tat Bo, again, you know, it's known as collapsing stance. 80% of the weight is on the right leg, 10%, eight, uh, about 20% on the left leg. The next stance is what we call the circle entering stance, which is Yat Wan Bo. Left side. In this stance, the right knee is placed close in contact with the left ankle. <clears throat> that was the, the left circle entering stance. The right circle entering stance involves uh, flexion of the knee to about 90 degrees, the left knee uh, contacting or slightly touching the right ankle. The next stance is Gua Fu Bo, tiger riding stance. Here, 90% of the weight is distributed in the rear leg and 10% in the front leg. Again, Gua Fu Bo. This, uh, stance enables easy kicking, 
uh, in, in different transitions as in retreating and advancing. Next stance would be Lao Mapo, which is the cross leg stance. Here involves a twisting motion of the torso, uh, the left knee touching the posterior aspect of the right knee, and also the other side. Lao Mapo. This action is used in twisting uh, and generating power uh, in offensive and defensive fashion. And the last basic of the horse stances is the Yun Hao Po. It's a monkey stance. Here the weight is actually distributed uh, quite uh, centrally uh, with the rear leg and the front leg slightly flexed. This technique, uh, this stance is used in several techniques in which involves grabbing and different transitional movements that we'll see later on in our future tapes. Now, if you've already learned your basic stances, the next step are utilizing the stances and what we call stance drills, in, in, including movement. I feel like this is a very extremely important drill, and so does Sifu Li, uh, to develop uh, dexterity and movement in your footwork. You'll see different stances involved with the horse stance, and now is the forward stance, moving forward and backwards. This is the tiger riding stance, moving backwards, retreating, shifting the leg backwards and forwards. The stance drill, horse stance drill, shifting to the right and also to the left, involving elbow strikes. It's nice to practice this drill up and down the floor of your school. Next stance drill is the forward stance. Involving a right upward block and a reverse punch, alternating between the left and right arms. Tiger riding stance, retreating in a ready position. As you practice more and more, you'll feel more comfortable in movements, moving forward and backwards. Getting used to the timing will be very important. In the seven star system, there are also uh, some basic kicks that we need to uh, be familiar with. This kick is called Bai Mun Tui, meaning door shutting kick. In this posture, Master Li lifts up the right knee and extends out his right leg in a snapping motion. In other circles, uh, this is also known as a roundhouse kick. You want to lift the lead leg lifting up the knee and the lead leg and executing a snapping motion at a 45 degree angle, making contact to your target. Next kick is called Sub Chi Tui and it's the cross kick. You want to lift up the right knee or the lead leg knee and snap out the kick, making contact with the instep of your foot onto your target, which is usually the groin area. When you practice these kicks, you want to alternate right and left. This next kick is called Jatwe, meaning leg bumping kick. It's also known as a shin kick, uh, lifting up the right knee, shooting the leg straight out, making contact with the heel and the inside of the foot. Again, we're using the, the rear leg, not the lead leg in this kick, and it shoots straight out.
this is the 12 keyword formula as interpreted by Sifu Lee Kam Wing. Uh, these 12 concepts are in, seen in the different various forms of the seven star praying mantis system. Uh, these are basically your building blocks to develop good fighting skills uh, in the seven star mantis system. First element is ao, meaning hook. Lao, grab. Choi, meaning pluck. And we add a punch as an ending element. Gua, meaning upward block. Dew, intercept with the mantis hook. Bung, meaning back fist. Jim Ling, meaning making contact and cling as so as to stick to your opponent. Dip, meaning tag. Gao, meaning lean onto your opponent. Shim, meaning dodge. Tang la, meaning to bounce. The next is variations of the mantis hook of the dew that we've already covered. And uh, this involves making uh, a mantis hook with the last three fingers, pulling in the three fingers tightly, supporting the forefinger the index finger with the thumb. I'm going to do this exercise to develop forearm strength. This is a double mantis hook in a horse stance with a pulling action. This, is, this posture is the double mantis hook in a seven star stance. Notice that the rear mantis hook is at Sifu Lee's shoulder level. This is a mantis hook with a counter intercepting hook. The left hand is placed on the right wrist. Here's big wheel fist form at regular speed. Now let's take a look at big wheel fist form in slow motion. This is a roundhouse strike and then these are circular blocks hopping into a roundhouse strike. Circular blocks. Tiger washing his face. 
This is called Luk Luk Choi, meaning retreating circular blocks into a right palm strike, hammer fist strike, reverse punch, and circle iron punch, back fist, kick, retreating stance. Circular strikes. This is a sweeping action. Reverse punch. Left uppercut. Right circular punch. Hammer fist strike. Sweep. Sweep. Blocking against a kick. Now we'll see this in reverse angle at regular speed. Let's look at some applications of big wheel fists. We have the double lower punch, and this was the introductory movement of big wheel fist, doing a double block and a double punch down to the opponent's lower ribs. Double block and double punch. Next application is the Fan Che, also known as Tiger Washing His Face. And this one is useful against multiple straight punches to the face. Followed by a roundhouse strike.
The blocks are followed by a roundhouse strike. Tiger washing his face, also known as the fun chair. This one is the uh, hook grab palm strike, wiping into a hammer fist strike. and performed at regular speed. Again, these are movements directly out of the form of big wheel fist. That's the beauty of uh, martial arts, of traditional Chinese Kung Fu, is the, the application directly from the form. Uh, sometimes there might be some variation in how you need to apply them, but essentially the applications are hidden within the forms. This one's Black Tiger Steals the Heart. Roundhouse strike, grabbing with the upward hand, and uh, you are the black tiger and you are stealing the heart. Right roundhouse strike, pairing, and attacking the heart, solar plexus, ribs. Next we have the demonstration of the door shutting kick. We see Sifu Lee executing a back fist, uh, and then a door shutting kick into the groin region and retreating into a ready position. Notice the elements here of uh, the 14 roads, this is 14 road number six. Uh, it has these elements there of the retreating and the kicking. Here we see a reverse angle, Sifu Lee uh, executing a back fist and a door shutting kick into a retreat. Again, we see this in the form big wheel fist. This is a demonstration of the leg uprooting kick. Uh, this is prefaced by uh, Luck Luck Choi, circle, uh, small circular blocks against multiple straight punches. Fui demonstrating Luck Luck Choi against multiple strikes and then uprooting his opponent's legs.
Another aspect to Kung Fu training is the ability to generate power. And here we see Sifu Li uh, practicing the same motion, the double punch, uh, so as to generate power from the waist, extending up to the shoulders and out through the fists. Practicing this drill uh, repetitiously will develop your power. This one as well, Tiger wipes his face, developing waist power, arm power, and shoulder power. Hook grab palm strike, hammer fist strike. Hook grab palm strike, hammer fist strike. very important to practice this, these sequence of techniques, isolating them from the form so as to develop uh, clarity uh, and cleanness in technique and movement. As a bonus, we've added the form Black Tiger Intercepting Fist into this intermediate uh, tape series. Uh, this is an intermediate form of the Seven Star Praying Mantis system. In this, tech, in this form, we see different techniques that we've already gone over, however, utilized in a uh, varying fashion. Black Tiger intercepting fist in slow motion. In this form we see uh, different elements of the 12 keyword formula that we've discussed earlier in the first tape series. We see elements of Bombo in here as well. Again, this form is called Black Tiger Intercepting. We see different variations of the Mantis Hook. We see the uh, Counter Intercepting uh, Mantis Hook. We see the Double Mantis Dill Sow, the Mantis Catches Cicada as well.
let's look at some applications from the double uh, mantis hook from the form black tiger intercepting fist. Here Sifu Lee demonstrates the double mantis hook, uh, placing his right foot onto mine so as to trap it. So here he traps the upper arm and he traps the lower, the lower leg. If you notice, the mantis uh, system utilizes a lot of grabbing, just as the, the real insect, the praying mantis, does in real life to hit prey. Trapping the arms so as I cannot move, and trapping the legs so as I cannot move. The next technique is back fist heel kick. Here Sifu Lee uh, simultaneously attacks with a back fist and heel kick, thrusting forward into the chest. Next is defense against a rift grab. We see Sifu Lee uh, executing this form in Black Tiger intercepting fist. A parry wipe and a straight punch into a seven star stance. Notice Sifu Lee driving forward his Footwork moves in so as to drive the opponent backwards. Defense against a kick. Here we see uh, applications from the form into a retreating, collapsing stance with a mantis hook to guide the leg out of the way. Next technique is an arm break, elbow break that we see out of Black Tiger intercepting. Sifu Lee grabs with the right and applies pressure on the left while turning the opponent's palm upward. Next technique is millstone palm. This is a very fast technique uh, using quick parries and chop to the neck.
Here Sifu Lee climbs up the opponent's arm, blocking at the wrist, trapping at the elbow, and attacking the neck. We see a application of the seven star counter intercepting hook. See if you Lee places his hand on top of the hand of the opponent and traps it back. Here's a, a view from another angle. After the grab, see if Lee places his hand on the opponent's hand and twists with a wrist lock. see a demonstration of freestyle techniques uh, used at random, pulling out the different techniques that we've gone over uh, in this tape series uh, from the different forms. Once you have the building blocks, you can put them together in a freestyle manner. Hook, grab, punch, gua, reverse punch. Hook, grab, punch, gua, reverse punch, back fist, horse punch. Millstone palm, back fist, circle entering punch.
Since 1984, INI Sports has featured the largest selection of paintball equipment, martial arts supplies, boxing gear, and custom knives. And with discounts from 10 to 60% off, there's no reason to shop anywhere else. So stop by or call us today. Visit any of our three Southern California locations seven days a week. With stores to serve you in West LA, City of Industry, and Carson. Or call 310-715-6800. INI Sports, we've got what you need.